Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in this example, again, we're looking into factoring. One of the confusing parts, though, that I'm getting with a lot of students is they want to factor with the trinomial and or factor the way that we use the trinomial with the AC method. And yes, guys, you can use the AC method. Just like when we talked about the perfect square trinomials or difference of two squares, I first taught you guys that you can use that trinomial method. However, even before we do trinomials, the first thing that we always want to do is see if we can factor out common terms. Before you even do the trinomial method, always try to factor out common terms. So does a 3x squared and a 12x have anything in common that you can factor out? They have a 3 and a x. So if I was going to simplify this, the first thing I'd do is I'd factor out a 3x, which leaves me with an x minus 4. Yes? You can't, you, why, why wouldn't you be able to just take out the 3 first? Or would that affect anything? You could take out a 3. But if you just take out a 3, then you're just left with x minus 4 divided by 3 times x squared minus 4x. I divided by 3 and just took it out. You, you can't do that. But not, yeah, but you, what, what are you going to simplify, though? You still can't simplify these at all. Yeah, you can. No, if you take 3 out of 3x squared minus 12x, if you take 3, right. then it just becomes x minus 4. No, the x squared is still there. Yeah, but, but then yeah no, and then you factor out the x. And okay, and then, yeah, you can do them, yeah, oh, you can so them separately or do them together. together. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So I won. I just won so in a different way. You, you <laughs> just did it twice, yes. Um, so now we have x minus 4 divided by x minus 4, which divides to 1. one. one. Okay. Yes. It got divided by 3x. Man. 